Hi everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Dear Esther. At least I think it's pronounced Esther. Because I heard one person pronounce it that way, and that sounds better than the other way I can think of to pronounce it, which is Esther. That just sounds weird. Esther, Esther. So I assume that's pronounced Esther. Although it really looks like Esther to me, but whatever. Esther sounds better. Anyway, I really don't know much about this game at all. Um, I remember reading about it when it first came out, and it really interested me then. I just haven't gotten around to actually playing it until now. The only thing is, I forgot what it's actually about. So, yeah, I don't really remember. I just know it's some sort of a story-based game, a story-driven game. Very atmospheric. I know it's not like a typical game. It's, it's not very gamey. I don't think there's any fighting or anything like that. But I just know that it really interested me and I really wanted to play it. And I guess I will rediscover why it sounded so interesting when I go to actually play it. So before I press start here, I do want to actually take a second just to mention how goddamn good the menu music is. I'm just going to stop talking for about 10 seconds. Just listen to it. Is that not beautiful? Alright. <clears throat> Let's begin. Start at number one, I guess. I guess these are chapters. Yeah, I can't skip ahead even if I wanted to, and why would I want to? Yes. I don't know why someone would say no to that. <clears throat> No, I don't want to actually play the game. I just want to sit in the menu and never play it. Dear Esther, I've lost track of how long I've been here and how many visits I have made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. Oh, am I in control of the character? Oh, I am. <clears throat> I just assumed it was a cutscene or something like that. Wow, this is... This is creating quite the strong atmosphere. This is a really depressing and lonely place. And also two things that I have to change. <clears throat> Make that three. <clears throat> I appear to have something stuck in my throat, so I think I have to cough very loudly, which I'm going to do in a second, off recording. Secondly, my sensitivity is too low, and thirdly, is the field of view too high? It seems kind of fish eye doesn't it? Look at the corners. It does feel a little bit too high. I <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to turn it down, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Throat is cleared. Field of view has been reduced. Now it looks much more natural. A little bit fish eye but I think that's acceptable. And sensitivity has been changed. So let's check out this dilapidated lighthouse. This place has obviously not been maintained in a long time. You know, before I go inside of there, I just wanted to mention that this reminds me of uh, this reminds me of Mist. Not that Mist ever really looked like this, just the fact that I'm kind of alone on an island. Just those two elements remind me of Mist. Other than that, they really don't have any similarities. So let's check this place out. I can't jump, I can't crouch, I can't sprint. Just want to check the controls here. What can you do? Oh, you can swim.
Really? Quick save and quick load are right next to each other on the F keys? That's a bad idea. You don't want to accidentally press one of those buttons. Alright, F6. F6 is quick save. But yeah, it looks like no jump or anything like that, which is fine because, again, it's not that sort of a game. It doesn't really matter. You don't need to be able to jump. F6. Quick save. <laughs> I was about to say, hey, do I have a flashlight? Apparently I do. It's just automatic. Whoa, what is... What is that? If I left-click, it zooms in. What about right-click? Nothing. This is creepy. I don't think this is a horror game, but nonetheless, this is creepy. Ugh. Brilliant sound design in this game. Really, the sounds the sounds are incredibly important for games and movies. I think uh, I think a lot of people don't realize just how important they are, but they are extraordinarily important. Try watching a fight scene in a movie. <clears throat> a fight scene that's that's really you know punchy, like you can really feel what's going on. It's very visceral. Any kind of scene like that, try to play it without sound. It completely ruins the effect. That's a very good example of how important sound is. I wanted to crouch to look at it closer. I'm going to left click to get a little bit closer in. It's some uh, sheet music. I can't read it. What was that? That's not in English, is it? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I wanted to jump up on the table. And have to get used to not being able to jump. I don't know what that is. It could just be faded letters. Maybe it is English. Can't tell. Some old playing cards. No one's played in here for a long time. Oh, that's English. Something history. What does that say? Does that say a... Hebridean history? A Hebridean history? What is Hebridean? Oh man, look at this place. Whoa. What is that? What just happened? I just, like, slowly got to my knees and then a bird flew. I, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Anyway. Let's check out the side building. Water heater. I think. Yeah, I think that's a water heater. Luminous paint. Man. Why would you need so much luminous paint? This is a lot of paint. What were they painting? Oh, there's power over there. It's blinking. This is a really good looking game. It's in the Source Engine, right? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it's got that, um... It's got that, like, signature Source Engine... I don't know what you'd call it. Like <clears throat> most sorts of engine games I see, they usually run really well, and they're usually not incredibly dense as far as graphical fidelity goes. They're kind of like clean, simple, but yet very good looking. There's really not much going on here in this scene, which is why I'm getting about 120 FPS. But yet, it's actually really good looking. 
even though the textures aren't very high res, as you can see, and there isn't any complex lighting going on, it still manages to look clean and good. Uh, I guess that's... I don't think I'm describing it very well. Anyway, yeah, it looks good. Oh. Shit. I don't suppose I can just walk over? Oh, okay, I can. I wonder what's down on the shore. Oh, I think there's something up there as well. I don't suppose I can walk up here? Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit. A holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, in all that haunts the ocean, is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find it more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Yep, that sounds like legend. Sounds like a legend. As legends usually are, it's absolutely batshit insane and crazy and weird. Oh, and this must be the cave. Should I... Oh, there's more paint. What is the paint being used for? I guess this has been painted. What is that? Uh, I'm wondering if I should go in there. Wait, actually, can I go anywhere else? I could go down on the shore. Might be a dead end. Actually, it probably leads over there. I have no idea if it matters. Eh, what the hell. I'm gonna go in here. Flashlight, please. Flashlight. Oh, I guess no flashlight. <clears throat> oh. Also, no end of the cave. I mean, no rest of the cave. Also reminds me a little bit of Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Uh-oh. Damn it, I fell down. And there's something stuck in my throat again. Damn it. <clears throat> there, Jesus. I've got just a little bit of phlegm that keeps building up in my throat. I'm still recovering from a cold. I'm 99% of the way through it, but... There's a little bit left, and that appears to be getting stuck in my throat. Looks like crap that came out of the sea from the traps. Just like, I don't know, kelp and stuff, or plant matter or something. There was once talk of a wind farm out here, away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. So, the person talking, is that me? I assume it's me. Why am I here? And what is that? 